Here are five Nat 5s that should see more play. Here, that was the most succinct intro I think I've ever done. No no nothing, no, no debris falling from the ceiling. It just the title again, crazy. These are in no particular order, by the way. Joe Gun. Joe Gun is actually pretty hype now, thanks to a recent buff that stapled on a really great sentence to the end of his third skill. It can no longer be counterattacked. So that means you don't have to be fearful of Verd or Douglas or even a Kinky on the other side. Now you can use that third skill with impunity. Then after he strips, he also applies an attack buff to your whole team. And he's not even one of those strippers that is only there for turn one and then is never relevant again, thanks to his skill two, Scroll Trap, which is kind of like killing a unit, at least for a little while. You still have to kill it for realsies later though. Oh my God, I just realized that it's missing a unit. I only put four. God, this is awful. What am I gonna do? Something amazing, I guess. I guess I'm gonna have to tell you to play Shiho. <laughs> the devs clearly want you to play Shiho, so stop not doing that. After his last buff, he now has a stun on every single one of his skills. Actually though, like, listen to this He now hits six times, and each hit has a chance to strip. I, honestly, the skill could stop there, and it'd be usable, but it goes on. Then it gives you two turns of invincibility and immunity, and it tries to stun when you crit. He really is the dev's favorite monster. I swear, every balance patch, they're like, oh yeah, let's let him hit one more time. What's one more hit between friends? Another one. Another one. The third one on today's list is Taylor, the Water Chimera. He can crit on Kinky, and anything that can crit on Kinky should probably see more play. And of course, Taylor also has freeze on skill three, which is awesome. Number four. Feng Yan, the Wind Panda Warrior, the Unfair Bear, the actual Beyblade. Post buff, he has built-in damage reduction just like his brother Mi Ying. As long as the enemy has less defense than him, he's gonna take reduced damage, which is really, really good. So now he's getting turns, defense breaking more often, and just spinning to winning more frequently. Finally, the fifth on our list, Belenus, the Fire Druid. Honestly, sometimes people have a tendency to forget that if your enemy doesn't draft any immunity, Belenus is just a free win. Defense break, attack bar absorption, and follow up with dots on skill two. This dude's crazy, and he provokes them, and he wants to counterattack. Bellinus is great. You should really use him more. But hey, you, you should use all five of these more. That's the end of the video. 